Hey everyone, Southeast Texas Gardener here. I started a stand of zipper cream peas. I believe they're a variety of purple hull peas. This little grill was to act as a planting guide so I wouldn't get lost on where I planted the seeds. Plus, I put some smaller stuff, smaller chicken wire on top to keep the squirrels from digging out my seeds. And I believe I was successful. So, this wasp has been hanging around my tomatoes all day. Alright, I got a problem here. Yep, see that guy right there? I think it's a tomato hornworm. I could be wrong. Look at this dude. I cut him in half with scissors and he's still trying to make a getaway. I don't think so, buddy. I don't know. Yeah, they destroy tomato. I've lost so many to these guys. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I put a lot of time, a lot of labor, a lot of money into my garden. Look at that. And I'm not going to stand by and let some pest destroy all my hard work. My hard work is worth more than that, not to just give it up to these know-nothings. I've been spraying with this stuff that smells like citrus. It doesn't say on the container, but it, I, I believe it's some kind of organic stuff, but I think I'm going to have to go a little bit heavier, break out the old Malathion. I don't want to, but that's the last resort. But I'm trying to save my remaining tomatoes. All right. I planted some Nasturtium last week. And... This sad sack of stuff here looks like <laughs> these are sunflowers, but they will perk up. Those were direct seeded. Those were transplanted. That's why they look like poo-poo. Now this canopy, the same one that I use for my cucumbers, is going to act as a guide once the flowers get that tall. Usually every time I grow them, they fall over and i got to stake them and it just doesn't look good. So I'm going to try this method. Okay, here's some, uh, here's some of that damage from those hornworms. You see all the little holes? This is a cherry type. It's doing great. Well, bird poop, I imagine. It's doing great, but it's gonna get tore up if I don't do something now. Uh, Gladiolus. Let me show you a little bit more damage. You can see. All the leaves are just destroyed. I mean, they just tear them up. And they leave this little black poop stains all over it. I guess that's what it is. I come out here and inspect it. Hopefully I catch them early. Before they start really tearing up something, I can just mash them with my fingers. But I go to work seven days on a tugboat and pretty much well, they're on their own. This cucumber bed is looking pretty, pretty messed up. I'm hoping that's a good guy. I hope that's a lady beetle, little bug, ladybug. Cucumber City. I have got cucumbers coming up my ears. I've already picked close to 20 of them, and I got a bunch more hanging out in my canopy here I just uh, I can't eat that many so when I go up to the lake this weekend I think I'm gonna bring some to little old Miss Velma nice lady down the street some more sunflowers hanging out here I just noticed this big cucumber I didn't see it this morning when I got off that don't look like a straight eight. It's like pickling type. Yeah. Oh, there's my 
friendly barking dog next door. More tomatoes, lots of them. Poop damage from the worms. I'm going to buy some malathion tomorrow and I'm gonna juice these suckers down. I don't like to use that stuff, it's so bad, but I don't know what else to do. Bell pepper's doing good. Big dude here. I've noticed a bunch of ladybugs all on these bell peppers. I flipped one upside down. One of these leaves upside down and one of them took off cruising. I'm hoping they're eating aphids and whatever it is that's eating up my bell peppers. But it's odd because I've never had anything bother my bell peppers before. So that's strange. Lots more tomatoes here. Clusters. Big dudes. Bell beefers. <laughs> Water, whatever bed's doing good. Loaded down with baby, baby tomatoes. I'll come out here and see a couple of red ones. I'll just pop them right down the old mouth. Got it right there. Every now and again, I'll get one that looks like this. Something's been messing with it. Okay. That's it for now. Looks pretty good. Maybe I'll shoot another video Tuesday. See y'all later.